Hello, this quick little two sample means test for independent samples using StatCrunch. And the example is going to be from the, the discussion. In the menu, it's going to be Stat, T Statistics. And again, we're using T Statistics because we do not know the population standard deviations. Two sample because we're using two samples. We're comparing two different samples. And it's with summary uh, because we're using the data summarized, not the raw data itself. If you actually had the raw data and it was already loaded into a spreadsheet, you'd use with data instead of with summary. You, to perform a two sample means test, you're going to need six numbers. For each of the two samples, you're going to need the mean, the standard deviation, and the sample size. For our example, the two samples, one sample was the male students, and the second sample was the female student heights. The means were 70 and 68, respectively. Standard deviations 2.1 and 2.5 and sample sizes of 5 and 5, which we get from this. To see how we do this in StatCrunch, well, let's go to StatCrunch. It's going to be under Stat, T-Statistics, and again, because we do not know the population standard deviations, two sample with summary, and then we've got six blanks to fill in. Those six blanks look very much like the six pieces of information we have from the example. So mean is 70, standard deviation 2.1, size 5. For sample 2, the mean was 68, standard deviation of 2.5, and sample size of 5. Never, ever, ever pool the variances. Uncheck that. Do not pool variances. And click on Next. We are doing a hypothesis testing. The mean difference is zero because we're saying males are taller than females. We are not saying something like males are taller than three inches more than females or ten inches more than females. It's males are taller than females. And the alternative is going to be greater. And we hit calculate. And here's what pops up. Test statistic is 1.37. P-value is 0.1045. Therefore, we conclude that we are unable to detect a difference in heights between males and females because p-value of 0 0.1045 is greater than our alpha of 0 0.05. We cannot detect a difference. Notice we are not saying there is no difference. We are not saying that females are taller than men. We're saying we do not detect the difference. We cannot conclude that males are taller than females based on this sample. And the big problem here is the sample size is only 5 and 5. Now I'm going to leave it as an exercise for you to see what happens if that sample size increases to 15 and 15, where nothing else changes. If the sample sizes are 15 each, are we then able to detect a difference? That's something that we need to pay attention to. And, but that's for some other time in the future. Hopefully this was helpful.